Here with this hard heal, the irrational loser. Wow! Okay, welcome back to Minecraft Survival. Thank gosh this is not a hardcore world or it would have just been deleted. Oh my gosh, right, let's go and get our stuff. So yes, as I was about to start, welcome back to Minecraft Survival. We have got a bit we have to do today. One of the things is, we need a game for this guy. There is a post on the community tab if you want to jump over and check it out, you can put your comments there or comment down below if you have some good name ideas, we need one for this guy. Now, yes this guy is indestructible, I don't want to lose him, I want him in the world, so he's here forever. But he is a wee wanderer, so that's fine. Now today, we need to go and find some dark oak. Now the reason I want dark oak is I do like my spruce but I prefer my dark oak. It is a nicer looking dark brown and the stripped versions of it is just amazing. So I have a boat and we are going to travel off in this direction to try and find some dark oak. Would you look at that? We have some dark oak. Problem is it's night time. Whoa! See this is what I love about the Terrorith mod. It adds stuff. <gasps> That's amazing. But yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a dark oak biome here. I see a skeleton already. With an enchanting bow. Uh, yeah. I ain't taking that risk. We'll just, we'll just go here and hopefully we'll get enough um, saplings from this. Oh, there's a guardian temple over there. We'll need to remember that so that we can get some sponges and maybe even a XP farm or something. Because I think that one's a lot better than what the Enderman one can be. Yeah, I see at least one sapling there. Uh, you have another log in there, yep. There we go, right, okay. And that's that all done. So down we go. As long as I can get four saplings and we are fine. I see. I thought you had a trident on you for a second there. Okay, we're home. Perfect timing, and I can get these down. Uh, I got seven. That's not too bad. The only problem is they do take four. They don't drop a lot, which is really annoying, but the wood is just so nice. Now, I will be growing spruce saplings for chests and stuff like that more because they are quite easy to farm. Whereas the dark oak aren't, so yeah. Oh, look, another axe. So yeah, these don't actually drop that much when you take them apart. So I need to get as many as possible. And I'm wondering if fortune is going to be one of those things that we're going to need to invest in for an axe. Just so we can get as many saplings from them as possible. 
we only get three from that. This is this is what I mean when it's a problem. Thankfully, I had extra saplings, but it is a pain in the neck to get these done. Uh, what happened here? I I don't think that's supposed to be like that. And it's also not supposed to burn through it. Um, I I need a new gate and a new sign. That is so random. Right, gate goes there. That goes on top of it. And that's like that. And then we just need to take these apart again. That was so weird. Where is that? Right, come on you. Back to the death. Thank you. That is so weird. That shouldn't do that. So welcome to the mining village. And this bit here is where we're going to set up our mines for all of the stone we're going to need for other builds and yeah the, the reason i picked this place is because it's like a, a bowl it is like a dish and there's a village up here which actually goes over the hill and if we look over the hill we've got this river this river literally wraps oh forgot about that wraps all the way round and back to where our village is which is the main reason i wanted this here because if i can build this up to be a mining village so that we can transport the stone back to where it's supposed to go nudge nudge wink wink uh yeah that that was the reason for it so there's going to be this here and we're going to build the mine here so i need to clear all of this out and get get started so let's go that's just got a bit of clearing done so let's take a wee look and see what we have so we have this whole area here devoid of trees this is basically where all the action is going to happen with the, all the the carts and all that taking all the produce up to the village sort of thing this here is a, a gimmick hole so I'm going to get some stained glass and get that all built up so that it looks like it's falling into a void. And then I am going to build a crane right here. But my problem is dark oak wood and also some tools because I, I kind of went through quite a lot of tools during that. So yeah, we need to get some more tools. But yeah, it looks good so far. I'm going to get wood, going to get more tools and then we're going to start mining now this may look a bit dodgy but i am going to be getting gravel and andesite and that's going to fill in these bits here i'm going to try and smooth it out a bit with some of these slabs that we get um but yeah it's looking good so far i am enjoying this build quite a bit all right, so I have this bit dug out. This is where our mine is going to be. Now, it is very special in the fact that we have four different levels we can go to and one area here, which pulls us right straight back up to the top. But that means we need to go to the nether to get some soul sand. We need some soul sand, soul sand. We also need some kelp as well. So we have a bubble column coming straight from the very bottom all the way up to the top. Now, I have cleared this out a wee bit. I uh, made some mistakes, but we have to get building this framework, the sort of place that we can walk down into and then the creek. Let's get to that.
and we're done oh my gosh we do have a wandering trader with us he is selling some good stuff like compressed ice and stuff or packed ice why does that say compressed ice weird so we have our crane it's not fully done uh, i'm going to once i get some ores and things like that they all get put up on there with some railings as well but we have the crane which will go all the way down here once we get the glass that'll all be blacked out we also have our mine shaft area here, which goes all the way down. It's not finished. I want to get a pathway with the stone and andesite and all that down here, but it comes all the way down to here. And then you've got each level, this one going all the way down to bedrock, this one going so far down, this one bringing us all back up. That going to about block 50 or zero or something like that, I can't remember. And this one only going to 10 or 20. Not, not too far, but it's far enough down we need to get a load of lanterns and um a silk touch pickaxe a lot of my pathways are going to be using stone and andersite and yeah it's just easier to silk touch it rather than trying to smelt it all up and that's it for today's video i hope that you have enjoyed watching today's video if you want to support the channel hit that like button and subscribe for more content and don't forget don't forget we have a discord the link is in the description go and check it out and yeah you'll get to see a whole lot of stuff there talk to me even promote your own stuff i am thinking about putting a self promo stuff in there there'll be community events that we'll try and get together so you can join me in some videos and stuff like that it's a big thing i want to make of it so i hope you do go and check that out and I will see you all next time. Bye!